run. Just run. Welcome to The Ad Show. So, welcome to another video. Today, I am using my GoPro for the first time ever. Well, not for the first time ever, but the first proper video that I'm going to do using my GoPro. I tried to do a video in the car the other day, but as you all know, with my lack of common sense, I put the uh, little suction cup thing on the dashboard and it didn't really suck down in, oh God, no, this sounds terrible. It didn't really push down very much. And apparently you're meant to put the suction cup on the window part, not on the dashboard, or at least it's more effective on the window part. So I'm um, anyway, I'm driving and I'm talking and you know, for the video kind of thing, but be aware, I was looking at the road, I wasn't looking at the camera, um, but I was driving, you know, and then I, t I, do t I do this turn at a crossroads and it just completely falls off and goes onto the seat, the GoPro. So yeah, I'm not gonna publish that video because there wasn't much content on it really anyway. But yeah, so this is the first time I'm having a proper go with it. Um, and unlike other people who actually go out and use the GoPro um, on the first time, I'm just literally recording a whole video in my bedroom. So yeah, it's hopefully it's exciting for you. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I will get on with the whole video as normal. I've only got five items to share. I've basically just been to a few charity shops over the last week or so, and I've got a few items here and there, and I thought, you know what? I've not done a whole video for these few items. Let's just uh, kind of combine them all into one whole video. So with that being said, let's get on, and I will share with you the first item. So we've got this Hacker T-Dog. Now, Hacker was a... Uh, oh, I don't know, he might still be on CBBC, but he was like the CBBC puppet um, when I was kind of growing up, or just at the tail end of when I was kind of getting out of CBBC, um, he started coming in. But yeah, I remember him, and uh, Hacker T-Dog, I don't know whether you... I'm looking down at my phone because I'm still getting used to this GoPro, really, and the angles and stuff. What I can do is actually have... I actually have a... Um, a preview of the video on my phone here so I can look down and I can see exactly my position and everything obviously if I was doing a normal video with my phone I could just see the positioning anyway as a kind of reflection um, but yeah with this I'm kind of looking down at the phone so I think over the course of the weeks as I get more confident with the GoPro and the, the angling of the lens and where I've got it and the positioning and stuff I mean it'll become a little bit more smoother but for now it's a little bit clunky I keep, keep looking, looking down at my phone and stuff but yeah Hacker uh, T-Dog it says it on there anyway I don't know quite whether you'll be able to see that Hacker Hacker T-Dog, I think it says. And you know what? I looked at this plush, right? In the, it, it was in a load of other different plush, just kind of laid out on a, on a table. And I looked at it and I thought, that's quality, that is. That's a pretty decent quality plush. I don't know what made me think that. I just literally looked at it and, and it kind of jumped out at me from all the other ones. So anyway, I pick it up and I see that label on it and, and I see that it's actually a puppet. So it's actually, because obviously Hack of a Dog is a puppet. So it's like this little, you know, I don't, I, I can't do the hacker voice. I forgot what it's like. It's like, it's a very weird voice actually, but you, you know, so it's a little, it's a little puppet. Like, I don't know whether I'm quite doing it right. I've not got all my fingers in. No, oh God, no, the innuendos on this. Oh no. Well, anyway, but uh, it is just this little puppet. Um, now I paid a fiver for it. Can you see that there? Oh no, the exposure's a bit bad. Yeah, there we go. You can see that. Five pound. So five pound on that. That's a lot of money. But I checked eBay can complete and sold. And I think we were around 25 to 30 on this little puppet. So I was, I mean, I knew it might be worth a little bit of money, but I wasn't thinking potentially around 30 quid. Um, maybe I was thinking 15, 20 quid, something like that. But yeah, so I did pay a five on that. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get kind of top end, which would be around the 30 pound. And that'd be pretty cool for my fiver. So yeah, that's that one there. Next, I've got this uh, game, a whiff mat, a whiff maniac. So with me, I don't know. A with me, I can't even say that anyway. But people can work it out for themselves. I paid one pound fifty for this in the charity shop. Um, 
And yeah, the ultimate number game. Oh, it's like a number game. I scanned it into Amazon within the charity shop and I think it was coming up at maybe 11 quid or something. And I thought from 150, I'll pick it up for that. The rank was pretty decent. I think it wasn't terrible anyway from what I could recall or else I wouldn't have pick, picked it up, obviously. Um, but yeah, 150 for that. Potentially into maybe like 11 quid, something like that. I'm not sure what it goes for on eBay. I guess maybe about 9 or 10 quid on eBay, something like that. Um, I will probably double check on eBay as well, just to see what the prices are like on there. But yeah, that's that one pretty simple pickup. I love picking up brand new and sealed stuff, as many people are aware, because it's nice, it's easy. Um, it just, yeah, I just love it. It's just so much easier than picking up used stuff. So yeah, brand new and sealed on that, pretty happy with that. So next, the first video, well, I say the first video game I've not I've picked up in a while. I actually did have that haul of video games not long ago. Uh, I don't know whether you've seen that video or not yet, actually. Um, but yeah, I did have a... a I picked up a few video games from the chat shops not, not long ago. Now, I paid a quid for this. Uh, so, a pound for that, Just Dance 2015. Um, and, yeah, it was PS4. And I thought, well, it's only a quid. I think that there'll still be some money in that. Even if, even though it is this Just Dance 2015. It's, you know, four years old. And I did look on Complete and Sold. I think the highest one has gone for most recently, kind of, for uh, about twelve ninety nine, something like that. And then the lowest, maybe about seven, eight quid, something like that. So I think I might be able to get a tenner out of that, which is pretty cool. So from a quid into a potentially nine or ten quid for that one. Uh, and obviously, it's just a jiffy bag job. It's a large letter, probably one pound nineteen or whatever it is, Royal Mail. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Nice little pickup. Um, and it's nice to pick up uh, video games again. Actually, inside of here is another disc. I don't know whether you see that there, but it's uh, something like Sing Star Party or something. I don't think that's meant to be in there. So I think I've got another disc for free on there. It, it actually won't fit in the little disc holder. So the disc holder isn't meant for two discs. So yeah, I think that's just a totally separate game. So I might be able to get something for that Sing Star Party as well. You never know. Oh, actually, the disc is coming out there. One sec. It's not meant to be in there. That's why it's coming out. Right, there we go. And the discs are in really good condition, actually. That's why I picked it up. If there was loads of scratches on it, I wouldn't have picked them up. Even if there was a few scratches on it, I probably would have been tempted just to leave it. Because, obviously, I'm not going to be able to test this. I've not got a PS4 or anything. So, um, when I'm picking up games that, obviously, I can't test, I do like the discs to be in really, really good condition. So, yeah, that's that one there, anyway. So, next, we've got this vintage Kong Man game. What? Oh, this is by Tomy, isn't it? Yeah. I was just wondering what uh, brand did this. But, yeah. Told me, uh, Kong Man, I guess this is an 80s game. I've not even really checked, to be honest, but I guess it is. I don't know whether it says it anywhere. Normally, it has a little copyright stamp with with the age, you know, with the name, uh, with, with the, you know, the, the year on it. But I can't see it anywhere on this, so. I guess it's an 80s thing, though. It must be. It must be, like, late 80s or something like that. I'm not sure, but, yeah. Um, now, I actually paid seven quid for this in a charity shop. Um, and I've had this before. I think the last time I had it, I maybe got around 30 for it, something like that. And prices are really all over the place with this. There's some of them that have gone for as low as 15 quid. And I think the highest I saw on Complete and Sold over the last three months is close to 40 35 40 um now the box isn't in brilliant condition it's got a little bit of wear you can probably see all around it kind of thing it's a bit worn and stuff it was originally let me just see if i can see if you can see this it was originally stickered up yeah you can see that there it was originally stickered up at 40 quid in the chat shop 40 quid um so, I mean, that's like, that's over eBay prices, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. But I got it for seven quid in the end. Yeah, uh, I think, I'm thinking maybe 25 on this. Something like 25, 30. Well, no, I'll probably go 30, to be honest. I'll probably go 30 on it. Considering I paid seven quid and people have got... 30, 35, and I think someone might have touched 40 with it as well. So I think £30 plus uh, a good little bit of whack on uh, with the postage as well, uh, and that'll do me on that. I can't see, if I went 35 or 40, I think it'd be a bit of a slower seller. I think I could probably achieve that, but I'd be waiting a little while, and especially with the box a bit tatty and stuff like that, um, I think 30 is probably more like it for a reasonable turnaround. So yeah, 7 quid into hopefully 30 quid on that one. 
one. And then finally, I got this uh, dwarf, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is Happy Bear, Happy Dwarf. Um, and it's got its little tag as well, the Disney Store exclusive tag. And I paid, if I uh, get this up for you, let's have a look on here, whether you can see it. There we go. So I paid £3 on there uh, for this Disney Store exclusive Happy Dwarf little plush. Uh, yeah. Quite a nice little, little uh, plush here. Unfortunately, it's not worth as much as I thought. I think, honestly, even at Christmas time, this time of year, I'm probably going to be lucky to get £10 plus postage out of this. There are a lot on completing solds that have sold for even less than that, so I'm actually going pretty high at £10 plus post. I was really thinking this might be £14.99 plus postage, considering it's an official Disney Store plush with the little stamp there. Um, it's brand new with its tag, of course. Obviously, if it was used, maybe only a five or something, but because it was new, I was thinking, yeah, probably get like 14 99 for this, and it's just not the case. So I paid £3. And as I say, I'm going to be lucky to get about £10 plus post. I'm like, that's what I'm going to go for, uh, and hopefully over the Christmas period, it will sell for that. But yeah, a bit of a shame, really, to be honest, because I was thinking that might be worth a little bit more. But it's still a nice little pickup. I've not, I've had a few of these dwarves. I've only ever had them used, though. Um, and it, I always like it when I pick these up. And I, I always like it when I pick any uh, Disney Store exclusive plushies up or any Disney Store stamped plushies up. I just, I just love dealing with Disney plushies. I don't know what it is, but I do get a lot of passion with dealing with a lot of them. Actually, I had that hyena not long ago. I didn't, didn't have that hyena that Lion King Kaina that I got, what, 40 quid for and I paid four quid in a charity shop. I just love dealing with the Disney Store plushies. And the other thing is, for me, it ticks all the boxes with regards to how fast I can process these items as well because I don't need to do anything. I just literally need to photograph this. There's no testing, no, uh, you know, checking of anything. It's literally just a whack on the photo area job. And then when it comes to parceling up as well, there's no chance of breakages or anything like that. So that's another positive for them as well. So, yeah, that's that one. And I believe that is everything for today's haul video so if you like the new gopro obviously there's a wide angle lens on it as well so please let me know in the comments what it looks like on the video whether you like it whether the audio is coming out okay all that sort of stuff um and that would help me massively as well if you did like the video obviously as always please do give it a like that helps me out quite a lot and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing um and yeah that's about it for today's video so I will leave it there and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.